Ladies and gentlemen, hello, this is Debo over at LandSagGo.com. I really appreciate you guys checking out this deck tech that we have here for you today. But before we get started, if you really enjoy our content, we'd really appreciate it if you give us a like, a comment, a share, a subscribe. It's really a great way to support our channel for free. So let's go ahead and break on down this deck. Well, the list I have here for you today is called Turbo Mill, and it's in Teamer. And so what's really great about this is that you're just trying to go all in on mill on your opponent and it's using a cool combination of cards to get there. So what is our main mill win condition here? We're, we're playing with Teferi's Tutelage. So everyone knows the power level of this card, three mana enchantment, enters battlefield, you draw and discard, and then uh, whenever you draw a card, target opponent mills too. The thing that we're really pairing with this though to deal a whole bunch of uh, mill uh, to our opponent here is Song of Creation. So for four mana, it's an enchantment. You may play an additional land on each of your turns, and then whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards, and then at the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. So we're really trying to play at sorcery speed on our turn, but being able to draw a ton of cards to be able to get a lot of activations off of this Teferi's Tutelage. So how are we going to get there? Well, we do need to play things from Exile or our Graveyard to be able to trigger Song of Creation if we are only drawing lands on our draw step. So. These are the cards that we're we'll running. We're running Merchant of the Veil, which is actually really good with Song of Creation because you cast the Haggle side of it. And if you have a Song of Creation down, you draw two cards and then you can discard one of those cards and then draw another card. Really, really good there. Also, it gives us a creature we can put into our into our exile zone that we can then also cast to be able to stave off some aggro or anything like that, plus trigger the Song of Creation. We're running four Radical Idea. These are cards that we can cast from our hand to draw cards or from our graveyard to draw cards. Really good. Paradise Druid, just a good way to ramp and then also to block if we if we just need a blocker. It's very Sulage, obviously our win condition here. Bone Crusher Giant, a way to stave off early, early creature aggro. Plus, we have a 4-3 that we can cast from exile to be able to stave off attackers or to be able to trigger our our draw spell we can also play uro titan of nature's wrath as a four of this becomes another win condition for us it's a huge threat it draws us cards it gains us life and it, it's it's something we can cast from our graveyard and we're gonna be discarding our hand anyway so we're gonna have a lot of fuel for our euros we are also running two to fairies ageless insight for four mana it's a legendary enchantment if you would draw a card except for the first one you draw in each of your draw steps draw two cards instead and then storm's wrath uh, is just a way to blow up the board to stabilize now we also have a pretty basic lands for this we we do run a castle of interest in here so for worried about not hitting a spell we can go ahead and play uh the activation on the castle of interest to hopefully find a spell on our upkeep to be able to keep the shenanigans going so that's the main list this is the best of one list then we also have a sideboard here so if we're up against aggro or even actually control this is a really good card to add in we have maze mind tome obviously it triggers with our song of creation we can also pay the two mana to draw a card with it to trigger the, the, the uh, teferi's tutelage um, but once we hit four or more page counters on it we can gain for life so that life gain can, can really matter against aggro lists so that's really good we also have sorcerer spyglass to deal with any of the unwanted activation of things whether it be a, a thrashing brontodon to kill our enchantments or a planeswalker or anything like that it's a good answer for us for there if we're playing up against another mill because we've been seeing a lot of blue red mill recently so midnight clock is a great way for us to shuffle our graveyard back into our library and just keep the fun going and then if we're up against, again, aggro or uh, maybe something that involves graveyard shenanigans or something that may be dealing less uh, damage over time, Clothis is a great way for us to be able to deal with all those types of things. We can get it down kind of early. It ramps us a little bit to hopefully get, get uh, our things going a little bit quicker. Plus, it can gain us life and deal damage to our opponent as an alternate win condition. And then lastly, we're running two Teferi Master of Time. Obviously, he works really, really great with Teferi's Tutelage and Teferi's Atos Insight. Um, and it's just another great way for us to either get some extra turns to be able to really combo off against our player. He's a great way to get some extra turns to be able to combo off against our opponent just a little bit more. We also have uh, that minus three to phase out a creature. So if we're up against a huge mutated threat or something like that, we can just exile that away or phase it out. 
um, so we don't have to deal with it with that turn. And uh, we can also obviously get the draw discard with him as well. So that's the list, guys. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think about the list in the comments down below. If you try it out, let us know how you do. And again, I'm Debo with LandSego.com. We'll be posting some uh, gameplay of this uh, later in the week, so be sure to check that out as well. But uh, we'll hopefully see you again real soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching our content. If you liked our video, you'll probably like these as well. And if you would, please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And in the description below, you'll find our TCG affiliate link, where you can buy the cards that you need while also supporting us, Lance Go, and our show.